I'm Lara Bomser, and I'm one of the attorneys at Sapiga Daily Pope. So often a client will come to me and say, Lara, I'm worried about paying for long-term care. I'm worried about applying in the future for Medicaid. What's this look-back period that I hear so much about? And so what I explain is that the look-back period is the five-year period prior to filing a Medicaid application that a state caseworker is required to look at when processing your Medicaid application for eligibility. So what does this mean? This means the state essentially wants to make sure that you haven't been divesting yourself of your assets over the last five years, giving all of your money to your kids, and then saying, look at me, Medicaid, I don't have any money, so I'm ready to have you pay for my care. The state looks very, very keenly and scrutinizes five years worth of all of your financial statements and your spouses if you're married, whether it be bank accounts, financial statements for investments, or retirement accounts. They want to know and will look at all your withdrawals, your deposits, and again, most importantly, your transfers or your gifts. Again, they want to make sure that you have not been giving away your money during the past five years in order to avoid paying privately for your long-term care. So what does this mean? This means that if two years prior to filing a Medicaid application, you gave your son $36,000 to put a down payment on a house, let's say, this could create a problem. The state says that the average cost of care in Connecticut for one month is $12,000. So what the state says is that for every $12,000 that you've given away, you are ineligible for Medicaid benefits for one month. So okay, you've given away $36,000 to your son two years ago. The state would say you've created a three-month penalty. $36,000 divided by the $12,000 divisor. So you might say, well, three months, that's not a big deal. I can deal with that. But here's the hitch. The hitch is that the state doesn't start running that penalty until after your application is granted. Now, in order to be financially eligible and apply for Medicaid, you, as the applicant, can only have $1,600 in your name. So if you only have $1,600 in your name when your application is granted, how are you going to pay three months of care in a nursing home? And that is the problem. If you have further questions or want more advice, please feel free to contact one of our offices. Thank you.